Hey guys, it's Vimeo91, and once again, these are the Walking Dead character bios, and today we're talking about Abel. Now yes, Abel was not a part of the kid group, but I feel like he had enough of an impact to warrant a bio on him. Now Abel's met in episode 1, and to tell you the truth, I was so intrigued by him that I actually made a theory video on him at the time. Now, Abel kind of appeared like this mysterious, creepy guy who also has two different colored eyes, and he basically seemed like a loner who was just looking for food. That's what he claimed. And he actually showed some tactics here because it seems like he's trying to trick Clem into giving up the location of the school and all that by just convincing her, yeah, I'm not a threat, don't worry, I'm just some guy who's hungry. But then it kind of shifts in episode two. He's very jumpy. His whole calm, collective demeanor kind of just goes away for most of the episode. And it doesn't really make much sense unless you hit him out the window. See, what I think is that they actually just had him do the same thing whether you hit him out the window or not. Which once again kind of goes with the whole choices didn't really matter. Yes, he does lose an arm, but he doesn't change emotionally, which doesn't make sense. I mean, if she throws him out the window, I get him being a little mad at Clementine in episode two, but if she doesn't, what was that? In any case, his calm demeanor kind of returns in episode 3, but then once again vanishes once he realizes he's dying. So, what is Abel's main character attribute? With all this flip-flopping, it's kind of hard to determine, but I believe he's a guy who just is like, it is what it is. And he uses that basically to justify his action. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. He basically just takes the hand he was dealt, such as when he was hungry, he was more than willing to take the food. Later on, when he needed the kids, he was more than willing to take the kids. And when he found out he was dying, to avoid turning, not to actually continue living, but to avoid turning, he was willing to give up his entire crew. So that's why I'm saying, Abel is just like, it is what it is. This Bible smoking kind of creepy guy is like, I'm just gonna live it and basically every opportunity I'm getting, I'm gonna take. Whenever it is advantage to him, he will flip at a moment's notice. Personally, I kind of feel Abel was a little wasted basically due to inconsistent writing because, like I said, he intrigued me when he first showed up, but then episode two and episode three, he became more and more eh. So I really wish they kind of had used Abel maybe in a different way. Maybe if you didn't push him out the window, maybe he would have had a different thing to say or maybe he would have a different demeanor toward Clementine. I really think that it was a little bit of a wasted character because I feel like they could have done so much more with him. But what we got was just someone basically willing to flip every single time it became advantage to him. But what do you guys think about Abel? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.